Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I will show you how to differentiate some functions using basic rules in getting the derivatives. So, sa mga may hilig sa math at gusto pang matuto at naghahanap ng challenge, this is for you. Just stay tuned lang and before I proceed to the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell below. Alright, let's talk about basic derivative rules. But before that, what is derivative? Okay, derivative is a measure of the rate of increase of one variable with respect to another. Or ito yung tiyatawag natin yung rate ng slope ng curve at a certain point. Sinusukat din yung, kaya din isukat yung, yung slope ng given a curve at a point. So, unang rule natin is constant rule. So, ano ba definition ng constant rule? The derivative of C with respect to X is always equal to 0. So, yung d over dx dyan, yan yung tiyatawag nating differential operator. Kung saan, operation siya na kinukuha yung derivative nung given na function. So, again, babasayan natin siya, derivative of c with respect to x is equal to 0. Yung c natin dyan is constant. Anything na constant, no? Mapa 1 million man yan. Mapa 1 half, 1 fourth. O, yun yung mga constant natin. Okay? So, example. Derivative of 5 with respect to x equals 0. Okay? Next. Derivative of negative 1,000 with respect to x equals 0. Okay. Anything na constant, ang derivative nun is always equal to 0. Power rule. Okay, ito yung power rule. Derivative of x raised to n with respect to x is equal to n times x raised to n minus 1. Okay? So, kung yung ating function ay nasa form ng x raised to n, pag kinuha yung derivative nun, anong gagawin? Ibaba nyo lang yung exponent na n, katabi ng x, then yung exponent doon, less nyo lang ng 1. Less lang kayo ng 1, that is n minus 1. Okay? So, example natin. Derivative of x cubed with respect to x. Okay? Yung n natin dyan, yung, or yung exponent natin is 3. So, ang ginawa, baba yung 3, times x, then bawas ng isa dun sa exponent na 3. So, we have 3x squared. Okay? Next. Derivative of x raised to 7 with respect to x. So, again, Nasa form siya ng x raised to n. Kapag ginawa natin yung derivative ng x raised to n, that is equal to n times x raised to n minus 1. So, the answer is, ang okay, solution, 7x raised to 7 minus 1. The final answer is 7x raised to 6. Okay, next. How about the derivative of x raised to 6, negative 6, x raised to negative 6 with respect to x? Okay? So, same thing then, no? Baba yung negative 6, exponent na atin, negative 6, tabi mo sa x, then negative 6 minus 1. So, we have negative 6 
x raised to negative 7. And take note, a raised to negative n, do sa ating law of exponent, if we have negative exponent dyan, magiging, gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung reciprocal noon, tapos magiging positive na yung exponent. So we have a raised to negative n is equal to 1 over a raised to n. So nangyari, pumailalim na siya sa 1, pero naging positive na yung exponent niya, nung a. So, yung 6, negative 6, x raised to negative 7, that is equal to, anong mangyayari doon sa x raised to negative 7? Bababa siya, mga kaibigan. So, we have negative 6 over x raised to 7. Sa so, ngayon, positive na yung, positive na yung exponent, which is yung 7. So, that is our final answer. Okay, next. The derivative of x raised to 1 fourth with respect to x. So, again, gagawin nyo lang. Baba nyo yung exponent na 1 fourth times x raised to 1 fourth minus 1. Alright. Then, 1 fourth, x raised to negative 3 fourth. Okay? So, yung 1, pwede natin i-write yun na 4 over 4. Okay? So, 1, 1 fourth minus negative, uh, 1 fourth minus 4 over 4, that is equal to negative 3 fourth. Again, law of exponent na naman. Isisimplify natin, no? Maging, gawin natin positive exponent siya. So, we have, that is, Okay, ganun pa rin, no? Binaba natin yung x raised to negative 3 fourth. x raised to negative 3 fourth. So, the final answer is 1 over 4 x raised to negative 3 fourth. Or, yan. Kung meron tayong exponent na fraction, no? Take note that a raised to m over n that is equal to n root of a raised to m. So, ano mangyayari? Yung denominator doon sa exponent, magsisilbi siyang index na doon sa ating radical expression. So, we have n root of a raised to m. Okay? So, yung x raised to 3 fourth, ano nangyayari? Yung 4 doon na denominator natin, nagsilbi na siyang index. No? Naging radical expression na. So, we have, kinonvert na natin sa radical expression. So, 4th root of x cubed. Yung numerator doon na 3, exponent na siya ni x. So, the final answer is equal to 1 over 4 times the 4th root of x cubed. Okay. Next rule. So, nakakailang rule na tayo. Pangatlong rule na to. No? Una, constant rule. Pangalawa, power rule. Pangatlo, constant multiple rule. Okay. Sabi, the derivative of CU with respect to X is equal to C times the derivative of U with respect to X. Where C is constant and U is function of x okay pwedeng u kahit ano, ano siya no kahit ano basta function siya ni x pwedeng x squared pwedeng x cubed pwedeng x raised to negative 7 and so on okay and you see constant yan so example natin ayan what is the derivative of 3x squared with respect to x. So, yung c natin dyan, mga kaibigan, yan yung 3. Okay? Then, yung u natin, na function of x, ay yung x squared. So, ginawa, kung meron tayong constant multiple, constant as one of a factor ng ating uh, function, so, igagawin nyo, ilalabas nyo lang yung constant, tapos kunin nyo yung derivative nung nung function of x. So, we have 3 times derivative of x squared with respect to x. And again, balik tayo doon. So, 3 
And x squared, nasa form siya ng x raised to n. Kung naalala nyo dun sa power rule. So, we have baba yung 2. Then, x minus 1 dun sa exponent. So, we have 3 times 2x raised to 1. Or, pwede nyo na i-multiply yun. 3 times 2, that is 6x. Okay, next. The derivative of negative 4x raised to negative 3 with respect to x. Okay, so kunin natin. That is equal to negative 4 times the derivative of x q x raised to negative 3 with respect to x. Okay, so derivative ng x raised to negative 3. So kunin natin yun. So you have negative 4 times negative 3 times x raised to negative 3 minus 1. So that is equal to negative 4 times negative 3 x raised to negative 4. Or 12 times x raised to negative 4. And take note x raised to negative 4 is equal to 1 over x raised to 4. So the final answer is 12 over x raised to 4. Okay, so try this. Derivative of phi is pi squared with respect to x and derivative of 6 is square root of x with respect to x. So yung answer, pwede yung i-comment. Pwede yung i-comment sa ating comment section dito sa YouTube. That's all. Thank you.